Excuse me, little dog. Hi, guys. It was kind of a gray, gloomy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this gloomy Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. So the uh, tree guys have finally taken their chainsaws and gone elsewhere. I'm going to, I'll have to post a little video about these tree guys visit. But anyway, now that they're gone and some peace and quiet has returned, you know, guys, I was going to make this my full chronicle of the collapse, but I'm, I'm just going to do a somewhat of a cropped version of it because I think really everything you need to say about this story is in the first few paragraphs. And all joking aside, I want to send out a big round of applause to Business Insider Magazine, Business Insider Magazine, and Yahoo News and the mainstream media have finally gone, finally gone full doomer, and they fully understand apparently the, the uh, writer of this story, Adeline Woodward and Marion Gaynot, we got two doomer chicks teaming up to write this story for Business Insider today and it is titled these 14 ocean species have already gone extinct a dozen others will probably disappear in our lifetime so what this story is is one of the many stories over this uh over this hopium filled apocalyptic happy horseshit about some new global treaty on the high seas how uh, i guess finally russia and china uh have come on board uh the, the, this horseshit treaty how all of the world all of the nations of the world are going to have a big kumbaya moment and come together to save the planet's oceans. And you can find all sorts. I'm sure there's a bunch of YouTubes from these clueless little greeny lefty uh, apocalyptimists uh, out there talking about how this treaty is going to save the oceans and now, now don't get me wrong guys i am not saying this treaty is a bad thing all right the 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 planet's oceans today this is the difference between a couple of days ago and today so a couple of days ago the planet's oceans were uh, superman after that horse that wreck he had on the horse you know who I'm talking about. So, two days ago, the oceans were paralyzed from the neck down. Okay? They were completely paralyzed from the neck down. Today, they're just paralyzed, I don't know, from the waist down, from about their belly button down. So, the, the arms have been freed up, so now we're back to finger pointing and arm waving. Uh, so the oceans are now able to point fingers of blame at uh, who is responsible and what the problem is in the oceans. All right, and maybe to raise the white flag of surrender. Anybody thinking that this new treaty is going to save the oceans uh, it, it, it is such a victim of the I guess in this case the globalist greenwashing agenda obviously we have had a failure to communicate but that's really all I want to say about this that's all that needs to be said about this treaty in particular but I really like the lead-in to this uh, article, which is the most refreshingly honest article I think I have ever read in the mainstream media. T 
take it away business insider we're gonna let these two doomer chicks explain it to us so you know how business insider does they uh, start with a three bullet summation of the story bullet number one the planet is likely experiencing a mass extinction a major collapse in animal populations. Bullet number two, 14 ocean animals have gone extinct in the last 100 years and 72 are now on the verge of extinction. Bullet number three, an international deal. All right, an international deal was reached Saturday to protect marine wildlife after decades of talk. Okay, now let's get into the actual story. <clears throat> the planet is in the midst of a six mass extinction, according to scientists. So already we're doing better. The first bullet, you know, the editor changed that to the planet is likely experiencing but we get back to the real story and the first sentence of the story. The planet is in the middle of a sixth mass extinction, according to scientists. A recent United Nations report, which they are not labeling dire or what's the other one? Dire or, oh God, I'm having a sing, a, senior moment is one of two things it's dire anyway you know the other word a recent united nations report found that up to a million plant and animal species are now threatened with extinction and many could disappear within decades pollution deforestation and habitat destruction due to farming and development have already quote severely altered severely altered 75 percent of all land and 40 percent of marine environments the un said <clears throat> okay and here we go the most intelligent sentence I have ever read on the mainstream media sounding just like that guy who was that wacko who was interviewed you know that long-haired bearded hippie barefooted street person on soft white, white underbelly sounding just like that guy that basically has about 10,000 people uh, requesting his suicide okay Drum roll, please. The report blamed one factor for this trend. One factor for the reason that this planet is in the midst of a six mass extinction. A million plant and animal species are threatened with extinction and 75% of all land and 40% of all marine environments on this planet are have been severely altered one factor for this trend this is a one word answer so it's not climate change climate change has nothing to do with it it's a one word answer what is the one word answer, the one factor for the reason this planet is doomed, according to Business Insider or anybody with a brain? One word. Is it overconsumption? Is it even, is it overpopulation? Nope. The report, like that crazy hippie, 
on soft white underbelly. Blamed one factor for the, you know, destruction of a planet. Okay, we're going to give you a hint. The word begins with the letter H. H. Can we all say humans? Humans. There is one reason this planet is doomed. Well, there's eight billion reasons now. One reason. Humans. The problem on the planet is humans. It is not climate change deforestation, habitat destruction, plastic pollution, whatever. There is one reason for the re th this planet is doomed. It is called humans. If you don't want to listen to some whacked out, drug addled hippie on soft white underbelly explaining this to you, read Business Insider magazine. Humans. The problem is humans. There is one solution to the problem of humans. That is to get humans off the face of the planet. As long as humans, as long as one human, particularly a male, two humans, a male and a female human, are walking this planet, this planet is doomed. But anyway, I'm not going to insult your intelligence with reading out the rest of this hopium crap. Uh, how this little treaty, which we would not need if it weren't for humans. There would be no need for humans making this promise to change their behavior. If there were no humans, the oceans would not be in the shape they're in. Uh... I don't know if it mentions that later in the article, but I will put the link to this because it does have a lot of good links to a lot of other articles. And since uh, I'm not going to do a full rant uh, on this uh, subject, we're going to uh, go back over to medium.com and find the medium.com Doomer porn plum of the day coming right up. Oh my gosh.